Hey everyone, it's forecaster Mike Barletta here. We're going to be going over a major early season snowstorm for a lot of the Northeast, and we could see some snow in I-95 cities as well. So before we get into it, if you guys could like and subscribe, that'll really help out a small growing channel. That'll be awesome. We just passed 100 subscribers, so that's really, really great. That happened really fast. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we're going to be getting to my forecast. First, we're going to be going over timing and some technical stuff, but after that, if you guys just want to see the forecast, make sure, watch the whole thing skip to the end of the video if you need to that's where my specific forecast will be so let's get right into it the model we're going to be going over today is the high resolution nam model it's just a mesoscale model uh really a short range model that shows the weather in the very short term only goes out uh, a couple days so getting right into it we see we do have some snow beginning on the front end once again the uh timing here is sunday afternoon so just a couple hours from when this video should uh be published we have some snow breaking out across the northeastern finger lakes western new york we also have some sleet the pink is sleet uh developing northern new jersey eastern pennsylvania even might sneak some into western long island before they change over to rain and then a big story about this that i feel like is not going noticed enough is some a lot of ice in western uh, or central Pennsylvania, western New York, a lot of freezing rain, a lot of ice storm warnings over here. Could see over a half inch of ice, so a really bad situation developing there. And on the southern end, we have a lot of rain. DC right now, Philadelphia, that'll change. Uh, a lot of western and western Pennsylvania and western New York. Moving forward in time, this is now Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. Um, probably around 5, 6 p.m. at this point, we see a lot of snow developing across lower Hudson Valley, portions of southern New England into central New York. Once again, there's a lot of ice across the Finger Lakes, central northeastern Pennsylvania. Still some ice and snow and sleet, a real mess sneaking into Long Island, but in a few hours uh, from now, they'll change over to all rain. Central New Jersey, some ice. Really in this area should be some ice and concerns, but nothing too crazy uh, like we're going to see in portions of uh, central and southern Pennsylvania, but definitely a slick travel day. You're not really going to want to be traveling if uh, the temperature is below 32, as that water is going to freeze on contact with the ground. Now getting into Sunday night, snow uh, shields still moving northward, a northward push. Now New York City, Philadelphia have switched over to all rain here. Um, not a lot of frozen precipitation until the back end, in my opinion. Most of the lower Hudson Valley and uh, Connecticut are all types of frozen precipitation, not snow. The boundary layer is going to be a little too warm for you guys to stay all snow. There's going to be a sneaky warm layer pushing up uh, from the south that's going to switch you guys over. But don't worry, you guys will switch back. But especially in these areas, travel is going to be treacherous. A mix of rain, ice, and snow. At least further north, it's just snow. You can get some traction. Uh on your tires before the snow gets too deep but these areas it's going to be really hard with really slippery ice and freezing rain now we're into later sunday night uh early monday morning you see that snow and precipitation has lightened up across all these areas with lighter precipitation we're getting a more pronounced warm push here and you could see that compared to last frame which we will go to now compared to last frame the ice has really pushed north this was last frame this frame Last frame, this frame. Ice has really pushed north, but I think for a lot of these areas that's going to be experiencing mixed precipitation, you guys are going to change back over in later hours. Once our upper level low, that's around here, begins to swing through, precipitation will get heavier and it'll cool the column. The reason it's all ice now is because precipitation is really, really light. So the warm layer is able to make a push northward and is going to change a lot of that snow over to ice. Shouldn't last for too long though, but definitely a little bit of freezing rain concerns, sleet concerns. You could get a glaze of freezing rain, maybe a couple tenths of an inch of sleet, but shouldn't be anything crazy. So we're skipping from Monday morning to Monday afternoon. Not a whole lot goes on between then. There will be some definitely some more snow breaking out, but this is really the big story for a lot of these areas, uh, mid-Atlantic areas. We're going to start to get what's called an inverted trough in to these somewhere within this circle. Um, definitely some heavy snow rates possible with that. Right now, models are expecting it to line up between Philly and New York City. Somewhere within there is going to get hammered, in my opinion. Impossible to tell where until it happens, but I really do think someone's going to get hit hard. You could see that everyone has now flipped back to all snow. Our upper level low is pushing through, uh, to the south of New York City, south of Long Island now, switching everyone back to all snow. 
And you're going to see after this frame, uh, this is Monday at, at 2 p.m., that heavier snow is really going to start to develop as that upper level low really starts to wrap up and throws precipitation backwards. Now the frame after you could see that our precipitation shield is finally moving out of here. Really long duration event. Now we're in Monday night, Tuesday morning. You could see... Uh, heavier snow has definitely developed in New York City, Philly, as compared to last frames. Definitely see a couple inches in these areas. National Weather Service isn't biting yet, but I definitely think it's really possible for uh, these areas to see at least a couple inches of snow. I really do think somewhere within here is going to get uh, at least six six inches maybe possible depending on where that inverted trough sets up you could see a heavier band has really stretched from northeastern Pennsylvania through Albany um really just heavier snow is starting to develop in these areas uh afterwards so really really long duration event uh for a lot of upstate new york uh northern central new england a really long duration snowfall event for those who could stay all snow there's going to be some historic historic totals uh north of the major cities even i think a little northwest of boston really historic total someone within here is going to get two feet to 30 inches of snow uh, within this little area. Maybe even extend this a little further south. Somewhere within this area is going to get two feet to 30 inches, uh, in my opinion, definitely. Now, enough of timing and technical stuff. Let's get into my forecast specifically. Now, for you guys, I did draw in the low pressure, see where the track is, and understand why the heaviest snow is going to be to the north of the major cities. That's because our low pressure is a little too tucked in. If we were uh, 30 uh, to 50, maybe even 75 miles further south, uh, there'd be a lot more snow, especially in these regions for areas that uh, right now shouldn't be seeing very much. But going from the least, I think we're definitely going to see uh, 1 to 3 inches, the mountains of West Virginia into central Pennsylvania. Here should mostly be ice, but you guys are definitely going to switch to snow at some point, maybe pick up an inch or two. And then for a lot for Philadelphia, central New Jersey, I have an inch or two. And then same for central uh, Long Island, you guys should pick up according to an inch maybe. The Forks, I don't have much. Southern New Jersey, I think most of you guys, Washington, D.C., going to say all rain. So the next area that I have is our 3 to 5 area. I have it east of Buffalo. Buffalo, I think, might pick up 2, 3 inches north of Philly into central New Jersey. Now, you see how this bulges out here? This is going to be our inverted trough. You see how these values bulge out uh, near central New Jersey? I think that's where our trough is going to set up. You're going to get a band of really, really heavy snow. You can see I outlined uh, the areas which I believe it's going to set up. Uh, and you might over perform here even a little more than three to five inches i could see somewhere uh within this three to five inch area grabbing six maybe a little southwest of new york city then for this three to five area uh, i think a lot of connecticut and southern mass and rhode island are going to get skunked i think this inverted trough is going to take away a lot of the precipitation and snowfall uh further north over northern massachusetts and albany i think this area is really going to be our loser area that don't get as much snow as they're supposed to uh, as of right now. Then the next area, I have three to five uh, going through northeast Pennsylvania, northern New York. I have a little bulge up over the Hudson Valley. I think you guys are going to get a little more ice than is currently projected just because you're a little bit lower of the elevation. That warm air can sneak in more easily. Uh, through south of Boston, parts of northern Rhode Island, definitely see five to eight inches. Somewhere, especially in this area, can overperform a little bit. Maybe someone will pick up eight, nine inches uh, just southwest of Scranton, especially if that inverted trough band is able to set up a little bit further to the west but overall not too bad of a forecast in these areas five to eight inches you could see really tight gradient in here so a little shift uh north or south of this low pressure is definitely gonna uh, have big implications for those in hartford southwest of boston Next region is the 8 to 12. I have that going through Rochester, uh, west of Binghamton, right through Scranton. Scranton, I think, will pick up 7 to 8 inches. Uh, through northern, northwestern New Jersey, the hills are, your elevation's really going to help you there. And then once again, we have that little pocket in the Hudson Valley that's going to really hurt your snowfall totals with the elevation. Then the hills of uh, Connecticut through Boston. Boston also, I think, could pick up 8, eight inches about. And those areas will be 8 to 12. Then going through uh, further north through the Adirondacks, definitely a chance to pick up some heavier snowfalls within these regions. Once again, I do have a little uh, indent in here as these are lower elevation area with a uh, lake right there. Moving north, I have most of uh, New Hampshire, Vermont in the 8 to 12 inch area. I have it sneaking into southern portions of Maine. And I didn't go over this before, but the 5 to 8 inch 
uh, line does go through central Maine. National Weather Service also doesn't want to bite on these higher totals in Maine, but a lot of models starting to pick that up, so I, I definitely felt the need to include that. Now getting into the really heavy snow, east of Rochester, going right through Binghamton, uh, down the Catskill Mountains, up near Albany, and then most of the northern tier of Massachusetts, I think are all going to get at least a foot. Once again, somebody will be a winner and somebody will be a loser in this. Banding will play a huge role in this storm. And I think elevation is really going to help out with higher snow totals, and we'll definitely get to that with the next region, the 18-inch plus region. So I think there's going to be a really, really tight gradient, especially uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, and into portions of Maine. I think there's going to be a tight gradient, and especially through uh, eastern New York, uh, southwestern Massachusetts, and northern uh, Connecticut. I definitely think there's going to be a really tight gradient where you're going to go from a foot to maybe five inches in, in not that far of a distance. Totals could be ranging over a foot and a half. Right now I have it west of Albany because I really do think Albany is going to uh, fall victim to the lower Hudson Valley uh, elevation issues because they're a lower elevation. I have Albany in the 12 to 18. I think they'll definitely pick up a foot, but more than that is going to be a challenge as the Catskills to your west are probably going to steal some of the snow uh, totals there with heavier banding to the west and heavier banding to the east in the Berkshires in Massachusetts and Vermont. Really long, as I said before, really long duration event. This is going to last, especially for areas in here that are, have the chance at highest totals in this region. This is going to be a two to three day event. Going to snow from Sunday afternoon to Tuesday morning. So two and a half to three days. So overall, if you guys did enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. It'll really help me out. If you guys are watching this on Porter Medium, the company I write for, make sure to click the video. It'll take you guys to YouTube. You guys will be able to subscribe and like the video there if you guys did enjoy the content. Any questions, leave in the comment description. I'll get to as many as I can. Make sure to follow me at Mike B. Weather. You guys have an awesome day and stay safe out there.